짧은 영화 받는 거 봤어. 아니 아니 아직 안 나왔어. 보여줄 수 없어. 응. 근데 장학금 받았어. 장학금 받은 거 축하해. 굉장하다. I'm proud of you. 하이 I thought I found my chosen family, but what I really stumbled into was a hotbed of corruption. At first, I so badly wanted to fit in because everyone there embodied who I thought I should be in order to be loved. Pleasant, alternatively attractive, a social justice cool girl. I thought finding your chosen family meant that I would be safe from the dysfunction of my real family, but instead, I threw away my standards to fit into what everyone else thought a good person is supposed to be. Deep down, I don't think that I deserve to be loved. Bad people don't deserve love. Bad people ingratiate themselves with people they don't respect just to feel safe. Bad people destroy their parents' house. They talk shit about other people's work. After being sexually assaulted by a very cherished member of this safe space, I realized how similar this group is to my own family. It didn't matter how perfect of a victim I tried to be. No one wanted to believe me. So why stick around trying to fix a system that doesn't want to be fixed? In these spaces where safety actually means staying comfortable, victims become ghosts summoned by gossip. I just don't think it's fair to use carceral logic when it does more harm than good. Being a Woodrow Scholar gives me the opportunity to pursue my investigative passions without worrying about how to live. Because when our families, both chosen and by birth, make us feel ashamed for living our truths, we get to choose how to tell our stories. Good to know I don't align myself with whiteness to get ahead. It took a long, long journey to forgive myself for how much guilt has held me back in life as a trans mass child of immigrants with ADHD. So grateful for this brilliant woman for coming with me on my healing journey. Girl, I have gossip for you. What happened to Savannah? Oh. We don't talk about Savannah here. Did you see the open letter? Oh my god, no. Where is it? Savannah? The crazy shirt girl? Drama! Ooh. Oh my god. Jen always gave me the worst vibes. Did you see that Sky and Thurga broke up? Do you think Jen was involved? It's all about accountability, you know? We're just here to listen and learn. Girl. Look at these screenshots I just sent you. Piping hot tea. I mean, kanji. <laughs> this is one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm so, so proud of the community for coming together to make space for each other. Build solidarity and autonomous power through collective care and understanding. I'm deeply engaged in transformative justice practices. And after some extensive soundboarding with other community members, we've decided that moving forward, Exhausted Not Exotic will transform into a flat organizational structure as a co-op. What this means is that I'll be stepping down as AMO and divesting to a new and more equitable staff and board so that we can expand our programming. So together as a community, we can heal, create and thrive. I'm so excited to be taking my first ever sabbatical and to reconnect with the community after some much needed healing. Hi, 
I'm Helen, I use she, her pronouns, and I'm so excited to be introducing Project Harmony. I'm one of your program coordinators, and I can't wait to provide music, entertainment, and events for youths under 25 who are underserved and underrepresented. We also have a showcase coming up called Limitless, so please, please apply if you haven't already. I also want to take this time to acknowledge we are meeting on the traditional territory of many nations, including Iri Lanan, Haudenosaunee, all who also acknowledge Hillcrest as important to their tribal histories. God, if I were oppressed like you, I know I could have made a better video than this. <laughs> you got lucky. Suck my dick. There she is. Hey, so we saw your film and we wanted to know if you would like to screen it at our Queer Youth Film Festival. Yeah, we loved it so much. You're like, so cool. And we think it would help a lot of people. You know, their mental health issues. Mm. How much do you pay? Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, uh, think about it. Hey! So, what are your plans for the summer? Um, I think I'm gonna finish my fanfic. Why? Do you want to go see the second Matrix with me? I don't really. I'm not really a fan of live action media. Oh, uh, want to grab food instead? Um, no. Uh, to be honest, uh, obviously I think you're really talented and I'm so proud to see you make your final film. But you're never really there for me. And like, uh, I think I deserve better, and it really, really hurt that you never ask about me. So, I think that I should spend the summer with friends that actually want to be there for me. Oh. I see. Right. Yeah. Uh, I hope things go well with you in college, though. Thanks. You too. as a mother. Sky gave Savannah so much access, and she just took the film away from she them. She did this for attention. Oh, doesn't care who she hurts, as long as she gets the Woodrow money. Ugh, I know so many more people who are way more talented than she is and deserve that money I way. hope it's okay that this is public. I mean, I know a lot of people already know about this. Do you think people are going to know who this is really about? Community is complicated. It's always going to be complicated. Savannah? I heard she's really struggling with her mental health. Whatever, I mean, she did end up getting the Woodrow money anyway. But who am I to judge? <laughs> 